vast, lush, green paradise that is Lengetia Farm stands out in stark contrast to its surroundings. The savanna and dry woodlands dominate the landscape for miles and then Lengetia Farm takes over. The colossal 4,000 hectare farm fills the horizon in a never-ending carpet of green, all this thanks to conservation farming, a revolutionary system of agriculture that espouses the concept, less is more. Laikipia East constituency is a dry region with an unpredictable, unreliable and sporadic rainfall pattern resulting in severe dry spells and sometimes intense rainstorms. But a new concept of farming, conservation agriculture, is proving worthwhile. As opposed to the traditional cultivation method, Conservation agriculture ensures that the farm remains moist through crop residues that also prevent soil erosion. Lori Sessions is a large-scale farmer in Langetia Farm and for him every drop of rain counts. Through the technology he has managed to reduce costs and maximize output. This is the perfect thing. It's cheaper, it's easier to produce crops and it's much, much better. Across the county, Kalalu Farm is run collectively by a group of farmers who have tripled their produce in the semi-arid land using the three pillars of conservation. Minimum soil disturbance, use of soil cover and crop rotation, which is a boost to food security. We have production of cheap labor, we have a lot of Na hata pesa, iko. Implemented by the African Conservation Tillage Network, ACT, conservation agriculture comes amid a looming drought and dwindling fortunes for farmers. It is a technology that experts say could play a crucial role in scaling up food security. To us, we see it as being uh, the answer, the way, the, the cornerstone to transforming the way farming is done in Africa. Because with conservation agriculture, not only are you assured of some crop, but also um, it creates the resilience to, to climate change. Uh, so that even if there's a dry spell, uh, these farmers can have some crop. The technology is slowly gaining popularity in Africa and experts say that the method could be used to transform up to 40% of semi-arid land into productive land to boost agricultural potential. With a clear and ever-present danger of food security in Africa and right here in Kenya, there is pressure mounting on the policy makers and the stakeholders in the agricultural industry to come up with a method, to come up with a weapon that is going to end this menace. The die is cast. What next? Is it conservation agriculture? Well, the evidence speaks for itself. Victor Muyakane, KBC Channel 1.